Hey and welcome back. Well here we are. It's time for the most iconic food from the state of Nevada. And when you're talking about Nevada, you're talking about Las Vegas. No offense to Reno, one of my favorite places in the whole country. High desert plain, dry air, cool nights, and an hour from Lake Tahoe skiing. But in Nevada, Las Vegas is king. So it's no surprise that the most iconic food in the state comes from there. That means we have to dig into the casinos. And that means we have to get in the Wayback Machine and find out exactly what makes Vegas, Vegas. And here's a history of Las Vegas in under two minutes. Mid 1800s to 1905, Las Vegas is basically one of a hundred different mining towns in the West. Nothing special until John Fremont, a familiar name to those that know Las Vegas, is sent by the government to look for a water source to help win the Mexican-American War. He settles at the Las Vegas Springs and sets up camp. 1905 to 1929, Las Vegas is in growth mode. The water pipes are full and running strong and the town becomes a water stop for the railroad headed to Los Angeles. That's considered big time in the early 1900s. 1930, a game changer. Herbert Hoover signs a bill to create the Hoover Dam. The town goes from 5,000 to 25,000 like that. Somehow the local mob gets in their head that a bunch of construction dudes might get a kick out of drinking and gambling. Go figure. The first casinos go up on Fremont Street. 1935, electricity finds Las Vegas. 1941, the first casino goes up on the street that would eventually become the Strip, the El Rancho Vegas. 1946, Bugsy Siegel puts up the Flamingo and you know where it goes from there. And you have the mob and legitimate investors dumping all sorts of money into Las Vegas into building casinos and hotels like crazy. So the casinos need to come up with a shtick, something to draw people in and set themselves apart from the others. Different shows, different acts, different themes and restaurants. Enter the Golden Gate Hotel and Casino. It first started as Hotel Nevada in 1905. $1 per night, room and board and became the Golden Gate Hotel in the 1950s. The new owners from San Francisco came up with the brilliant idea of a 50 cent shrimp cocktail. No surprise that this was a huge hit in the middle of the desert and the place became the first hangout of the Rat Pack back in the 50s. Now that's Las Vegas. That price stayed until 1991. Then it went up to 99 cents during the Golden Gate celebration of serving its 25 millionth shrimp cocktail. At its peak, they used to serve 2,000 of these every day. Today, shrimp cocktails are now served all over Las Vegas and they typically charge about $10 on average. Now everybody has their variation of the original shrimp cocktail. Small shrimp, big shrimp, fancy shrimp, Simple shrimp. But here's how the Golden Gate made it and that's good enough for me. Keep in mind they keep the Golden Gate cocktail sauce recipe a secret. So I'm just using a good old fashioned off the shelf cocktail sauce that looks just lovely. The original Golden Gate shrimp cocktail featured small and extra small shrimp in a fluted glass, a dollop of their special recipe cocktail sauce on top, a slice of lime, and that's it. And there you have it. The iconic food that set the Golden Gate Casino apart from the rest, brought the Rat Pack to Fremont Street, and basically made Vegas what it is today. Okay, that last part might not be true, but it is the most iconic food from Nevada. Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Like what you see? Subscribe to see even more. And don't miss the definitive list of the 50 most iconic foods from each state in the U.S. ranked worst to first. See where your state lands. Thanks for watching, and remember, always bet on black.